referendum held in 1992, the people of the ACT voted to introduce a proportional representation system to elect the members of the ACT Legislative Assembly, the Hare Clark system. Under the Hare Clark system, to be elected, a candidate has to receive enough votes to reach a quota. A quota is calculated using this formula. The formula is calculated by dividing the total number of formal votes, meaning a vote that's been correctly cast, by the number of vacancies. That's the number of candidates to be elected, plus one. Then we add one to the total. For example, if you had 1,000 formal votes and five vacancies, a candidate would need a quota of 167 votes to be elected. It works like this. When all the ballot papers with the number one are counted, some candidates will have enough votes to fill a quota and are elected. If all the vacancies have been filled, the election is finished. But if all the vacancies haven't been filled, we keep counting. If a candidate has received more votes than the quota, the number of votes over the quota is called the candidate's surplus. The value of the surplus votes gained by an elected candidate is passed on to other candidates according to the preferences indicated on ballot papers by voters. The preferences from these votes are redistributed at a reduced value called a fractional transfer value. Then, the new total of votes for each remaining candidate is calculated. These preference votes may be enough for more candidates to reach a quota. If there are still vacancies unfilled after all the surplus votes have been distributed, then the candidate with the fewest votes is excluded. That candidate's votes are then transferred to the next choice by the voter. The process of distributing surplus votes from elected candidates and excluding the candidate with the fewest votes goes on until all the vacancies are filled. The winning candidates from each electorate will be elected as members of the ACT Legislative Assembly. Now, if one of those elected members leaves the Legislative Assembly before the next election, it creates a casual vacancy and a replacement member has to be elected. The new member will be elected from the candidates from the original election, so no need to revisit the polling place. Those original candidates in the electorate will be contacted to see who is still interested in a position in the Assembly. Then, the ballot papers cast for the vacating candidate are recounted electronically to see who would have been elected next. And this person becomes the new member. We can thank Sir Thomas Hare, an English lawyer, and the Tasmanian politician Andrew Inglis Clark for developing such a fair and representative voting system. If you'd like any further information about voting in the ACT, go to the Elections ACT website at elections.act.gov.au. And remember, be an active and informed citizen, make a difference and vote. <laughs> <laughs>